Yo guys, what's up? We're in December 1944, right after the Battle of Hürgenwald, and Hitler ordered his troops to start a mini version of Falkelp with invasions of the Alsace, the Belgian Ardennes, and hopefully a breakthrough from the troops stuck in the Netherlands to drive the enemy back into the North Sea. As an extra motivation, 86 Belgian prisoners were executed in Malmedy on the second day of the Ardennes offensive, the Battle of the Bulge in Bastogne near the city of Liège. But with more Allied troops landing at the ports of Antwerp and Zeebrugge, help was on the way for the weakened divisions of General McAuliffe. On December 24th, after a week of bad weather and clouded skies, finally the Air Force was able to join in and the counterattack at Bastogne began. The Allied forces were unable to establish a pincer move on ground, so the Germans in the Alsace region managed to escape from the Colmar pocket on January 7th and January 8th. During the Alsace attack, the Luftwaffe had made its final contribution in the West by bombing Belgian and Dutch air bases in Operation Bolden Platte. They had been defeated by the Royal Air Force and their Spitfires. The Luftwaffe would not play a role of importance anymore after the Bulge operation, but would stay loyal to Hitler until the last orders. Without a fleet, tanks or infantry, they had no use. The Battle of the Bulge ended on January 17th. A total of 1,000 German tanks had been sent into Bastogne. On January 13th, Red Army divisions had started the East Prussia Offensive, two months after Hitler had forsaken his tainted headquarters in Rastenburg. Warsaw was liberated by another Red Army division on January 17th and large parts of Lithuania on January 28th, but Finland still refused to stop fighting until early March. By February 9th, also the Alsace Offensive, Operation Nordwind, was over and the city of Dresden in Germany was leveled to the ground on February 13th and 14th. An unfortunate incident happened in The Hague in the Netherlands on March 3rd when 551 Dutch civilians died in a badly coordinated air attack. In the Pacific War, the only bad news was the execution of more than 100 American POWs during the Palawan Massacre, a retaliation for bombardments over the island of Iwo Jima. Taiwan was the next target for bombardments, with another Iwo Jima bomb carpet on January 25th. Also, the Burma road between India and China opened up on January 31st, with a Japanese retreat over the Irrawaddy River. The new Japanese war commander Ugaki was even more determined than Tojo to turn the tide on the Americans who were still fighting for Manila and other Philippine cities. By the end of February, also Venezuela, Paraguay, Ecuador, Peru, Turkey, Egypt and Syria had officially declared war on Germany and Japan. USA conquered the Palawan Islands where the mass execution had taken place, and bombed Tokyo with incendiary bombs as a reply to the Japanese incendiary paper balloons that had been riding the Gulf Stream to West USA since late 1944. With Finland and Hungary out of the picture, Hitler had seen his last battles. But there was still good news after his failed Operation Nordwind in Alsace. He still had one last important bridge across the Rhine River, the Ludendorff Bridge. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.